Hey guys, welcome back. Today we have got some major potting up to do of some plants. Here are just some of the plants that we're gonna be potting up today. Um, and these are all gonna be from the prop box video that we did together, just pulling all of these plants out of my propagation box and then refilling it with a bunch of new stuff. So check out that video like up here, I think somewhere, um, if you didn't see that one yet or if you wanna watch it again or something, cause I'm I'm personally a rewatcher of things myself. But anyway, let's just get into this here today. So yeah, here are again, some of the plants that we're gonna be potting up today and then I've got more. Oh, I chopped up another one after I filmed actually. So you didn't see me chop this one, but I chopped up this guy. This is my philodendron Soderoy Aff um, because he was like way overgrowing like off the side of the pot. Just didn't have any support. I don't have any super wide pots right now either. So I just decided to give him a chop and yeah, we're gonna, I don't know what to do with him. I think I'm just gonna try to put him in like a really shallow, um, pot of soil and just see how that does because it does have let me show you so many aerial roots you see all those there's a ton block my face so it doesn't try to focus on me but yeah there are a ton of aerial roots on here so I think I'm just gonna try chucking him yeah into a little pot we'll see but then we also have all of these alocasia corms and I feel like there's something else mm. I also have some pedatum over here. Let me grab these. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if these are gonna be like ready to be potted up. It looks like actually some of them are, but I have not been taking good care of these whatsoever. Like, <laughs> no way, no how. You can see there's like some dead stuff in there. Um, this sad leaf, it makes it look like it was like a Florida beauty. No, just just a dying leaf. But um, but yeah, we'll we'll do some stuff with these guys as well. Let me set those off to the side just so I don't forget. But yeah, I've got a bunch of little pots here and even like a couple little smaller guys. And then I've got my big old ugh, thing of soil here. And I even found my trowel. And I even remembered the word for trowel. Progress, you guys, progress. So let's just get started here. Um, real quick, disclaimer, you might hear my stomach growling because I haven't eaten yet today. It's like 10 o'clock, something like that, maybe a little before. Um, I'm just like, I'm just not feeling it yet. I had a good coffee, I've had some water, I might have some more water, but you might hear my stomach growling, so sorry. Sorry if you do. Um, okay, where do I wanna start? I think I'm gonna start with the alocasia because there's just a lot going on in this one and it kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that one next. So let's just go ahead and I'm gonna start setting some of these guys out here in front of me. I think I'm gonna try to zoom you out a little bit and angle you down. We're gonna see how that, how that goes. Yeah, I'm just gonna start setting some stuff out. This is really messy. I'm gonna just kind of use, cause we did repotting yesterday as well. So we've had a busy weekend, a very productive weekend. I'm really enjoying it. So I have been getting such a wild hair up my butt, you guys, to vlog, even though I do absolutely nothing exciting. Um, <laughs> But I might eventually want to do that. And I think I might just start like a second vloggy channel just so that it doesn't like, you know, if you guys really don't want to watch it, just so that doesn't like totally mess with, um, I don't know, my numbers or something. I don't really know how that works on here, but that's what I see a bunch of other people do. So I feel like that's probably a safe bet. Um, but yeah, let me know if you would be interested in seeing that. I know some of you are, because some of you had... Um, have commented before saying that like I should start a vloggy channel or something so you can like see you know just like my regular life and my dogs and stuff more which I totally don't blame you because they're so stinking cute um, but yeah let me know what you think of that I might want to do that in like the next couple of months or something I don't really know but yeah let me know once I kind of get more settled um, in what's kind of going on with life and everything like that, I might 
want to do that. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and also just like, let me know if there's anything that you've been just wanting to see from me, if there's anything you've been curious about, anything like that, always let me know. But yeah, okay, let's see. So I've got a ton of stuff in front of me here. First off, I think my plan just in general for almost all of these corms is going to be to just like take them to work and give them to whoever wants them <laughs> because I just don't have the space for all of this. Um, I don't have the mental space for all of this either. So yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to save these two cute little teeny tiny things for last just because I feel like I'm going to want those for something more special that I'm going to end up keeping. And that way I can keep these pots in the long run because I really love those little teeny tiny guys. So I'm going to start off with these a little bit larger ones here. Little like two inch pots or something. I don't know. Oh, and then I have a couple short ones. That's cute. Okay, let's see. Oh, and this is just a corm that's like barely growing. I don't know if I will keep that. I don't know. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to scooch my dirt a little closer to me here. Hello, dirt. So I am just going to start putting, um, let's see, how many do I have? Ooh, they're just not very big. Do I have smaller pots? Nope. Okay. That's all right. We're working with it. I think I'm just going to plant them all like the ones that don't have that much root, I'm just gonna make sure that I keep the root towards the top of the soil and not like bury the roots down towards the bottom of the pot. That way, um, you know, it's not staying, the roots aren't staying that wet for that long. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So for example, for this one, which one will I do? I'll do this little cutie. This little cutie here is what we're gonna pot up. I think this is an Alocasia Bambino. So stinking cute, but there's not, you know, there's roots, obviously there's good roots on here, but it's not that much compared to like what this pot is working with. So I filled this guy up like halfway and then I'm just going to like, actually I'm going to fill it up even more than halfway. Well, I'm like three quarters of the way. Okay. And then just kind of set the corm right in there and grab my trowel and just lightly pour some soil on top. Guys, they're like, Luna loves to stand. Hey, chill. Come here, guys. Luna loves to stand on the bed, um, which is upstairs, and like, look out the window and bark at people across the street when they have dogs. Super fun. <laughs> Such a dork. It was really, um, icy and cold <laughs> and snowy this morning and like super windy. Dude, you need to stop. You need to stop. Come here. So we haven't gone for a walk yet. So they're a little restless. And by they, I mean Luna because Sixto could just be chilling. But hi, buddy. So here's our first one potted up. I'm just going to start lining them up off to the side here. You're not going to be able to see, but you already saw so it's okay. Hey, my goober dude, come here. Come here. Come. Give me your paws. Give me your paws. Hi. Say hello. Can you say hello? Gosh, you were just a little turkey. Was it you barking or was that your sister? Who was that? Who was that barking? Was that you or was that sissy? Who was it? Was it both of you? It was both? Really? Okay. Well, you both need to stop barking so much. Okay? Okay? Have you been scratching your neck? You've been scratching that neck of yours. It's a collar bugging you. You little naked neck boy. Oh, wow. You're so pretty with that naked neck. You're so cute. You're so cute. Okay, thank you. I'm going to finish potting these up and then we'll do something fun. Okay. <laughs> All right, after our little puppy intermission here, after one plant potted up, let's do some more. <laughs> Little Alocasia Maharani. Look at how cute she is. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna lie, Alocasia are some of those plants that are like kind of scary for me to give to people 
gift to people, you know what I mean? If someone's like purchasing it from me, you know, it's less scary because they probably kind of know what they're getting themselves into, you know, like alocasia can be a little bit trickier to figure out sometimes. I would say alocasia are harder to take care of, in my opinion, than um, anthurium. So, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. It's just one person's opinion on the internet, but <laughs> I really do think that anthurium are easier, um, less low maintenance than alocasia. But they're both beautiful. Like, look at that. That is so pretty. Hopefully, I feel like it's super blown out because I have you set up like right in front of my window. So it's, and it's like, you know, it just snowed. Like I said, it snowed last night um, and a little bit this morning. So it's pretty white outside. Although it looks like I can see a little bit of blue sky out there behind the gray, which is not normally gray. So I can't complain too much, but I will. Cause you know, I don't like the snow. <laughs> okay. Let's see. But I do know that I've got some lovely people that watch me on here that are from Alberta, Canada, and some other colder places. So don't, you know, don't think I'm forgetting about you out there in the cold. <laughs> Look at that little cutie, just a little baby. I think I might end up needing to go to Mountain Lion Garden Supply, I think that's what it's called, and getting some more of these like little, little shorty cups, you know what I mean? Cups, pots, um, and seeing if they have like even shorter ones too, which they might, I can't, I don't know if I've actually seen ones that are smaller there, but maybe, you never know. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely need to go there to look for um, at least one more um, like propagation tray with a little topper on it, if not two or three more, just to be safe. Um, later today, we are also, I have a busy day planned today. I'm actually really excited to have a full day planned. We're gonna do this video. Um, we're gonna, me and the dogs are gonna go for a W-A-L-K. He can't spell. <laughs> and then, um, and then after we get back from that and have some lunch, oh my God, I've got a rogue hair. Then we are gonna be going through and potting up the rest of my anthurium seedlings. Um, and, uh, it'll be like kind of confession time. You know what I'm saying? It'll, yeah. We'll chat. We'll chat in that Anthurium video. And then I think that I'm, I'm probably going to be ready to put that video out finally. It's it's one that I've started months and months and months ago when I first started uh, growing my seedlings um, or when they first started like when the berries kind of first started growing. I've got some footage from that. Um, so I think I'll finally be ready to kind of pull everything all the way together and um, and really talk to you guys about the whole process. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to do that. And then later on this afternoon, like early evening, I'm gonna get together with a couple um, coworkers. Well, one of them's a coworker. One of them used to be a coworker. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get together and just kind of have like a little girls night out and grab some beers. So it'll be really, really nice to get some, some girl talking. You know what I mean? We always need that. We always need that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited. I've got a full day planned. Um, I think I told you in the last video, but my boyfriend has been out of town this weekend visiting his brother. Um, and he actually got to see um, one of his old buddies too. So that was really cool. Um, he's, I think he's been having a lot of fun, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, is this a second corm? <gasps> I thought I was just peeling off this little leaf here, but no, hold on. <gasps> Whoa, <laughs> that is cool. Oh my God, the original corm on here. Okay, so check this out. So it was originally, it was like all of this together and then this was like the little corm. I've squished it now, but that was the original corm. That's like rotted and empty. And then this little guy, I've got a rogue hair and it's making me so itchy, but this little guy already grew another baby. Okay, so that is why alocasia are really cool. You gotta give it to them. 
you gotta give it to them. That's pretty freaking cool. Um, and this is a little black velvet alocasia, which is one that I have a really hard time growing. I honestly don't have a super easy time growing really any alocasia. I would say the ones I have the most luck with are the Freideck and the Maharani, which is interesting because they're very different. The Freideck is super velvety. Um, and the Maharani is like super leathery. Um, so they're very different types of alocasia, I would say. Um, I don't know if the Maharani, I don't think it's considered like a jewel alocasia. Like it's not mini, I don't think, but let me know in the comments. I'm not really sure. I don't even know if like a jewel alocasia is like a correct term, um, but I've heard like alocasia bambino referred to as a jewel type alocasia, if that makes sense. So they're just like kind of, I think just supposed to be like squattier and smaller growing. I don't freaking know. I'm just kind of guessing here, but, um, but yeah, those are the two that I have like the easiest time growing every other kind of alocasia. I have a really difficult time growing. They just don't seem to super enjoy it in my care. Um, they're very pest prone. Um, and when I say pest, you know, I mean spider mites. Okay. It's always, it's always spider um, very prone to them. Um, and they're just kind of tricky. Um, they don't like to be underwater. They also don't like to be terribly overwatered, but damn, look at how pretty that is. <laughs> Makes it hard not to like you because you're so pretty, but they're tricky. They are really tricky. So I just hope that whoever takes these home from work, which I do have definitely some plant people that I work with, which is awesome. We can commiserate about our, about our, about our plants, <laughs> about our plants. But, um, but you know, I have some, some more novice plant people at work as well. And that those are the ones that I worry about a little bit with the alocasia, just because they can be so tricky, but I don't know. It'll be fine. It will be fine. People can always ask me too, and they know that. If they're like having an issue with a plant that they've taken home that was from me or something, or just like with plants in general, I'll have some of my coworkers come up and just like ask me what they, th or what I think about their plant that they're having an issue with or something, which I honestly kind of love. Even if I don't know, you know, it's always kind of hard to, to judge when someone's, you know, just kind of like explaining it to you and you haven't been in their environment and really like seen the plant, you know, firsthand. But, um, but yeah, man, I am just like all over the place. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Bringing plants to work. But yeah, I'm just I'm just excited. I think everyone is going to love these as well. I know they are because every time I've brought plants in before, they always get snatched up super super quick. And that just makes me happy. It's like, okay, they're going they're going to homes that like are really excited to have them and want to love them and grow them. So, it's awesome. And I'll get updates sometimes too, which I love. <laughs> I love a good planty update, especially a good one. You know, they're not always good, but they're usually good. I will say maybe they just don't tell me about the bad ones, but <laughs> that's also okay. I don't need to know everything. Okay. Man, some of these alocasia, just the way that they were growing, they're so like kind of curved over. And it makes it kind of tricky to pot because they're essentially just like really close to the corn because their little petioles have like curved so much. So do you see what I mean? So it, it's like super curved and it just wants to go like down towards, towards the petiole. But that's so pretty. This is a little Maharani baby. Look at that leaf. That is so pretty. Again, I feel like I'm really blown out because of the window here, but otherwise I feel like it's nice light. So we're gonna, we gonna roll with it, okay? Okay, let's see, what else? We're cooking through these. I'm leaving out the silver dragons for last, I think, because I think I'm gonna pot those together and keep them because those are the only silver dragons that I currently have. Um, and then also <gasps> the Cupria. I feel like I'm missing another Cupria at least. What the heck? I feel like I'm missing plants, y'all. What do I do? Hmm. Oh well. Well, I've got this one cupria here. I could have swore I had like one or two others, but I don't know. So I'm gonna pot up this one, 
in this little guy here because I'm gonna keep it and it's just so cute look at her oh my goodness it's like a little alien plant it's so precious okay oh I didn't show you the back of it too the backs are always really pretty isn't that pretty Ooh. <laughs> okay let me put some soil in here Okay, and then just kind of gently hold it while I pile a little bit of soil on top, but not too much. And then I think I'm actually gonna end up putting this little guy in a Ziploc baggie and keeping him in my um, Ikea greenhouse cabinet. I think he'll be really happy in there. So that's where he's gonna go. Gosh, he's so stinking cute. Okay, so I've got another Maharani here. Do you see what I mean again by like how curved over it is? This one's not nearly as exaggerated as the other couple have been, but it's still pretty curved over. It was just like reaching for the light, I assume. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, there's dogs barking outside. If you can hear dogs barking, it's actually not mine. <laughs> Okay. Oh, here's this little guy. If I didn't show you this cute new leaf, that's so pretty. The new Maharani leaves. I mean, honestly, pretty much all, well, no, that's a lie. Not all new alocasia leaves are super cute, but the ones that are velvety or extra, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Extra leathery feeling. So like the, um, my gosh, my words. The Maharani, the Black Velvet, the Frydeck, those all are so beautiful when they first pop out. And obviously the Cooperette is so stinking cute. But, um, you know, the Bambino, it's still cute. You know, still a really cute little leaf there, but it's not, not quite as, uh, not quite as special, I would say, as the other ones. But, you know, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. So again, this has really, really little amount of um, root on there. So I put the soil down near to the top and then I'm just kind of like almost planting it as if it were a seed, you know, just kind of get, making a little indent there. And then I'm just gonna scoop the smallest amount of soil and put it on top. That way, the soil on top is obviously going to dry first. And that way the roots aren't just like sitting in soppy, wet soil for a super long time because the rest of this is obviously gonna stay way wetter for longer than the top, you know, little teeny tiny bit of soil. So hopefully he'll have a better chance of survival. Oh my gosh, I have these lined up almost the entire length of my table here. It looks really cute. Okay, two more to go, and I think I'm gonna put them, oh no, am I out of those pots already? Get the hell out of here. Ah! Oh no. Okay, well, we're not gonna get through as many of these. Oh no, that's okay, because these other ones, I'm gonna be potting more of those together, I think, so I will be able to use some larger pots, but, I'm gonna have to go to the store and we're gonna have to finish this up later, maybe in a part two. Maybe we'll do that. We'll see, we'll see how long this is, but yeah. Okay, so I think, is this what I wanna do? No, am I for real out of those pots? I am shocked. I don't think I've ever had all of these little pots used up at once before. Oh my, okay, well. I guess I'm just gonna pot them the same way I did in these other ones. This pot is like obviously very, very large, what I have going on here, but I'm again, I'm just gonna try and pot it right at the tippity top. I'm gonna let the soil stay nice and airy as well. And um, yeah, so I've got it right down in there. I'm just gonna kind of lay these in here, kick some soil over. Okay, so. I've got them just barely planted in there, essentially. <laughs> like the roots are just covered with soil. We'll see how that does. Those ones are for me to keep, so if they just totally tank, it's okay. You know, I can I can always get a larger one. I'm gonna scooch you up just a smidgen. 
that a little better? That's a little better. Okay, you can still see a good amount right here. So now I'm gonna still hold off on doing these because it still gives me a little bit of anxiety. Um, and actually your girl needs a shmang a shmang weed. So we're gonna take a brief intermission. Er <laughs> All right, we're back. So let's do these guys. Actually, I have a little corm. I'm gonna stick this little corm in the prop box. I actually have it right down here. It's normally on the table that we're filming on, um, like right in front of the window. So he's right behind me. You might actually be able to see it. Can you? I think you might be able to see it back there. Um, okay, so get all this crap kind of out of my way here. <laughs> okay so first off i got a lot of dead stuff these are the pedatum cuttings let's just take it out of here and set it down in front of us so we can really see what's going on what's going on Ugh, gross okay that's nasty. Do I have a towel? Oh, it's over there. Alrighty, well, here's our lovely gross water. I don't know why I love to show you this, but you know, no shame here, okay? I've told you once, I'm gonna tell you again, I'm a water refiller when it comes to those water pops. I am, you're gonna find me hard pressed to go really clean it out and not just refill it. Okay, so this guy, I don't know how this was alive in there. It looks like it has just been fully submerged. We've got a little root happening. We also have a growth point happening and it looks like maybe another one right here. So maybe that one was broken off. I think that one was broken off, this little nubbin, but this top one is for sure a growth point. So I think I'm gonna put this in the prop box, you guys. I think that's what he's destined for is a prop box. Same with this guy. I'm just gonna chop it this a little bit, but there's a growth. Again, I don't know how this was growing because it was fully submerged. It's shocking that it's not just like completely rotted. That's really crazy. So I'm just gonna chop this. Don't go everywhere. Okay, so now it's a little bit shorter and then we'll wait for this end to callus over and get brown like this end and then it'll be ready to go in the prop box and that can just get chopped. I, <laughs> I was gonna combine tossed and chopped and it came out chossed. So chossed that into the garbage. Same thing is gonna happen with this guy. He's got a growth point right there. So I'm trying to cover my face so it doesn't just focus on me but yeah just another growth point there it looks like that is where a leaf once was and it just like rotted off um so that's probably how it was surviving it just hadn't been in there for too terribly long without having some part of it outside of the water so yeah i'm glad it survived chop that sucker off so just so you can really see the difference here there's no node on here anywhere to be found it's just petiole um, or stem or whatever you want to call it. So this can just get tossed in the garbage. And then this part has the growth point on there and the node. So you can see where that node is right there. Yeah. Okay. Looks like I'm doing the same thing with another couple of these. This one, okay, I guess before I cut it, I'll show you. So this one is actually really cute. So we've got a growth point right here happening. And then there's obviously a node right here. And then I'm like, nothing really happening on this node. And then there's a node down here with some growth happening. So I'm gonna cut it right here. So I have this little chunk and then I'm gonna cut it right here. So I have this little chunk. And then that's, both of those are gonna go in the prop box. But it seems to me like this, even though there is a node there, I don't think this is gonna grow. I think that's just a spent node. So I am comfortable tossing it. You could always still put that in your prop box. There's no rules here, you know what I mean? If you wanna try growing it and see if anything happens, try it. Like, sorry, I'm trying to scoot it a little bit. My chair will not allow it. But yeah, if you wanna try growing it, try it and see. But I just don't wanna, 
I don't have that much extra space in my prop box. So this is really cool. So unfortunately, this leaf is a goner. It looks really pretty right now, actually. I'm not gonna lie. You're dying, but you're looking fine. Okay, I think this is just a bunch of dirt and stuff on the back of this leaf, not a pest, so I'm not too worried. But um, it's got a ton of roots here. You can see all those bad boys. Um, but yeah, this leaf is pretty much a goner, but I'm still going to pot this up. I'm not gonna put it in the prop box because it's already so well rooted. I'm just gonna put it like that. You know what I mean? It's obviously gonna get a bigger pot than this, but maybe I'll trim the sides a little bit more. Nah, we'll just leave it. So I'm gonna put him off to the other side so I don't get him confused. These are the ones that are going in the prop box over here. I don't know if you can see those. Yeah, right here are prop box ones. And then off to this side is my one that I'm gonna plant so far, just the one. <laughs> but we're getting through them, so let's see. This guy, the leaf looks so sad. <laughs> it's really funky looking. I love potato leaves. They get so weird looking. Um, but yeah, he just has the smallest little growth point right there. Can you see him? Yeah, just that little guy right there. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and make the stem way smaller. Chop that guy. And I'm also gonna chop the petiole off. Ooh, I have made every toss into the garbage can. I am so impressed with myself. Um, but yeah, so we'll wait for both of these ends. Where's the end there? There it is. Both of these ends here do callus over and then we will pot it and I'm just gonna make sure that this growth point will be sticking up in the prop box. Easy peasy. What do we have happening here? What's going on here? Okay, this, so this is the exact reason that I chopped up this plant to begin with because it is so freaking wonky. Look at that. That is so ugly. That doesn't look good. Look at that. What is that? That's a pest leaf. That's a leaf telling you something's wrong. Something is wrong. I have a pest. If it was pushing out a leaf like this and then it pushed out a leaf like this, super tiny, that's a sign. Oh, and it currently has thrips. Cool. Okay. Freaking hate thrips. I'm just gonna chop this whole top part and throw it away. I'm taking off all these leaves and throwing them away. I don't want any of them. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. I don't know if any of these nodes are gonna grow and I'm honestly scared about it. So I am just going to cut, because we've got beautiful roots down here. I'm gonna cut right here. Doop. I'm gonna toss these other two nodes. Don't want them, get out of here. And then I'm just gonna pot this one up just like I'm going to with this leafless node. They'll still get pots, but yeah. Okay. All of these have thrips, duh. Okay. These ones I have not been spraying as diligently as everything else because these have just been living under my desk because I have like a cheap Walmart um, like shop light under my desk that I hooked up there. So yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm chopping up all these leaves, you guys. Chopping them off. I don't have the patience to spray this plant down. And I just don't care enough about this plant, honestly, to spray it down. And I've got plenty of good growth happening here that I'm comfortable chopping it up and just starting fresh. So here, I do feel like I see a little growing eye. Let's see if I can point to it here with my scissors. There's a little growing eye right on this front side here that you can see on this node. Get right in front of it here. So yeah, right here, there's a little growing eye. So I'm gonna chop this node. I'm gonna make it a little shorter though, just like I've been doing with everything else. Again, just so it fits better in my prop box. You know, oh, I can't believe I made that, hey. Um, and then I'm gonna chop, obviously, and leave this beautiful guy here. I'm gonna pot this guy up as well. And then, yeah, I think I see little growing eyes for both of these here. So for this node, it's gonna be right, ooh, where'd it go, where'd it go? It's super hard to see, but it's right here, right where my fingernail is. You see that? Right there. And then for this node, I feel like I see a little tiny little bit of light green right here. 
You see that right above where my finger is, my dirty fingernail. <laughs> so I'm gonna chop these little nodes individually. Again, we are definitely gonna make sure that they callus over. I feel like that is super important when you're putting things into a prop box that is, everything is calloused over because otherwise you could just, you could just have everything rot, you know, and that's no fun. So I'm gonna take this top cutting and I'm gonna chop it and I'm gonna throw it away. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't care. I don't like it. I'm gonna throw it away. Um, and then we've got a nice little root here, R root, root, but it's just one long one, do you see? I don't know if I actually have to put my hand in front of here, but from here, I can't see it, so I just assume you can't either. But yeah, I've got good little roots there. I've actually have two nodes here. There's a little one right up top here. Um, but I'm just gonna leave them together. Ooh, ow. And again, chuck them in the prop box call it a day. I'm chopping all the leaves off of here. Cause I know everything has thrips. So why the hell not? Let's just chop them off and have a way easier time getting rid of them. Boop. Same thing, just chopped off the end. So I just had that little node with one long root. Oh, okay. I've missed like the last three. So, you know. <laughs> So for this node right here, you guys, I am not seeing any little bit of light green anywhere when I spin it all the way around. And again, I'm talking about this one right here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that that's a spent node. And I honestly don't see any little bits of green anywhere along here. So I am just going to, well, actually maybe there's a little bit right there. I don't know. I'm just gonna toss this whole little chunk here. That's fine. So that was easy. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't take care of your propagations, you guys. You just, this is what you end up with. So that's all right. We still have something. It's not like a total loss. So, you know. I'm not heartbroken by any means. I'm gonna go ahead and pot up these. Well, actually, no, I'm still gonna wait because these could still rot if I just pot them up. So I'm gonna set these off to the side to callus over for a bit. Same, I feel like I have a cut, but I don't. Same with these guys here. I'm just gonna set them off to the side to callus and then put them somewhere. So for this guy, I am scared. I gotta be honest, I'm scared. I don't know exactly what to do. I think this one's a little bit wider. So I'm gonna take this pot here, which is a bit wider, and I am just gonna kind of set it a little bit further down. So it's kind of like right at this first lip here. And then um, like that's where I'm gonna put the soil. And then I'm just gonna kind of like nestle this in and maybe give it a support or two because it obviously doesn't have that much root yet. Like there are, there are definitely a good amount of aerial roots on here. You know what I'm saying? Like there's there's aerial roots on there, but there's not enough to really be anchored into the soil for how much plant is on here. So yeah, that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. Um, again, this is not like all of the Sodoroy off that I have left. I still have that main plant left. So if, you know, if this really hates it and this just dies, it's not the end of the world. It would suck, but it's not the end of the world. Let me grab some little skewers here. And some plant Velcro. Okay. Oh, oh. Get this hair out of my way. So. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of water on here too. Put a little bit of water in there just to kind of dampen everything and help this sit a little bit better maybe, I don't know. So I'm just nestling it in there, kind of bringing the soil up to it and I have no idea what I'm doing, you guys. I gotta be totally honest with you. Not a freaking clue. Anchor that in there. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing, you guys. And... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna kinda... 
Hold them all together with a piece of plant Velcro. I feel like that's gonna work. Till it doesn't, but then we'll fix it. <laughs> but, okay, so you can hopefully kind of see what I have going on there. I just, just put the chunk right on top, but kind of brought the soil up to where those aerial roots have started. And then, yeah, just kind of anchored them in there. I think that's going to work. Hot damn. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. I, I thought it looked, took two seconds also, and I need to get out more. I realize this, but I am proud of myself for this one because I didn't know how I was going to do that at all. Ah, that looks really good. <laughs> Why am I so impressed and pleased by this with my own self? I'm going to roll with it. I, I'm happy with it. Okay. I'm gonna set that off to the side so I can admire my handiwork. Wow, I am way too pleased with that. <laughs> okay, now I got the courage to take care of some of this crap. Let's do it. So let's take out these Amedrium Silvers first. Okay. I don't know what this little guy is. Set him off to the side in this little teeniest pot. Um, okay, are those all of the ones that I wanted to get? Yes. Actually, and let's grab the Splendid too because I love her and I want her to survive. Okay. Oh, is this my other? <gasps> Yay! Okay, and here are the other um, Alocasia. Okay, these are what I'm going to put in here. So these are my, I knew I had, I knew, I knew I had tumor alocasia cupria. So they're just like not nearly as cute. They're a little worse for wear, but I'm going to put those in here. Hey, oh, I'm so happy I found those. I just thought maybe I somehow threw those away or something. I don't know. I don't freaking know. Okay. So let's just kind of nestle those little babies in there. So that they're hopefully facing the same way. I don't know. I guess that doesn't matter too much. And then just get a little pinch. Put some dirt on top there. Yahoo! Okay. <coughs> Two wins in a row, you guys. The Sodoroi and finding these little babies. Heck yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so set the rest of those off to the side. Oh wait, am I missing one? No. What is that? Okay, that's a brandy. Okay, so yeah, real quick, before I take care of these little guys, let's do, that's a Rifidophora, or is it? Yeah, is it? Yeah. Okay, so let's do these two little splendid first. Why didn't I cut this last night? Ugh, that's annoying. Well, no, I guess that's okay. So this has a good amount of root, but don't, they don't go down very far. So I'm gonna just do the same thing I've been doing with the rest of these. Get soil down at the, you know, for the most part of here. And then, you know, so it's like, I don't even know what words I'm saying. So yeah, I'm putting soil um, most of the way up here. Kind of nestle this guy. I need to chop this. Darn it. So once this, once this callus is over, then all I'm going to be doing is kind of nestling this in here so that the leaf hangs over the side so it doesn't get all wonky. I'm just going to do it now. I think it'll be fine. I'm not waiting for it to callus. All of a sudden, I'm feeling impatient, so I just want this to be in here. Okay, cute, beautiful. And I don't even have that end of that node fully covered. So I've got my splendid there. So it's hanging off, but I have the node nice and covered, all of the roots nice and covered. I think he's gonna be happy in there. So, perfect. Set him off to the side, spin him around so I can look at him, little cutie. Okay, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Oh cool, I have a little bit of a smaller pot too that's perfect for this. What was this? Something from the flower bin that I bought for $17. I'm gonna do the same exact thing with this little splendid cutting. Cute. Um, just. I feel kind of bad, but I shan't be bringing these to work. I will be keeping these. Um, I mean, first off, they don't look very good, but also 
I'd want to grow them up a little bit more before I give them away. And I think I would like to try to sell these. Okay. Can I share a little dream with you guys? I'm going to. I waited for your response, but I'm going to share my, my little dream with you guys. I really want to start my own little plant shop. Now, this is a dream, a little bit far off because I need to, I'd want like a, you know, a little, I want my tent essentially, I think to be, or something like that. Or I want like a little dome set up with a bunch of different domes or something. I don't know, but I'd want a space where I can keep everything consistently sprayed down, keep pests fully controlled as much as possible. You know what I mean? Um, and yeah, and start my own little plant shop. I really want to do that one day. I think that would just be so fun. I feel like it would bring me so much joy. And yeah, that's really what I would like to do. I'm going to grab a skewer for this guy, I think, and I'm going to cut it so it's not so tall. The super tall skewers absolutely made sense for the soda ray, but it doesn't quite make sense for this guy. Oh, oh, no, I put a hole in my splendid leaf. Damn it. You see that? <laughs> it's fine. Where'd that other little piece go? I do want to use that as well. Ugh. Okay. Get my dirt back up here. Hiya. Hiya, Tim McGraw. Okay. Woo. So I'm just going to do the same thing that I did with the other one. It's not nearly as tipsy turvy as the Splendid, but I'm just going to put both ends in here. That way I'm kind of keeping him stood up. Does that make sense? He's kind of like wedged in between there. Perfect. Okay. So now for these, I need to kind of decide what I want to do. Again, I don't think I'm going to take these into work because they just don't look that great yet. They're not that established yet. I want them to look better before I send them on to new homes. So, hmm. I think I'm gonna put this guy by himself because the roots are pretty nice and he'll be okay in something like this. Again, towards the top. So that's where he's gonna go. These guys, I think I'm gonna have to wait until I go to Mountain Lion. And the roads are too nasty to go today. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna go down to the basement in a minute and see if I have any more little pots down there hiding out. But I think what I'm gonna do is pot these three together. Is that what I want to do? No, I want to pot them all separately. Yeah, okay. Oh, and this one's a little smaller. Oh, and so is this one. Okay, that's not too bad. These aren't too giant. So I've got three little pots here. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Perfect. And then these guys, I'm gonna set to the side and wait and see if I can find some smaller pots because I'm just not comfortable putting these ones with their minimal root in pots that are so big, even if I do my little thing of like potting them at the top, I just don't wanna do that. So that's what I'm gonna do for these three. Let's go ahead and do that. I need to get some more um, orchid bark. Let me all do that after I grab drinks today. I'm not like going out and getting crunk, you know what I mean? I'm driving myself home. So <laughs> driving myself there and driving myself home. I'm also a cheap date, so I'm only going to get like a couple of beers. And I'm not a big beer drinker, you know what I mean? I would much prefer like a gin and juice or I've been really liking um, a Moscow Mule but with gin, which I think the bartender told me last time is called... A London mule, I want to say. Uh, something like that. Um, but I'm also scared that that's like going to be wrong or that someone's not going to know what I'm talking about if I ask for a London mule. So I feel like I'm just going to ask for a Moscow mule, but with gin still. <laughs> Unless I'm at like a fancier feeling place, then maybe I'll ask for a London mule and hope that they know what I'm talking about. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But that's what I've been liking. But I don't think I can get that. We're going to a brewery, so I will be getting a beer. 
we've got a couple cool breweries in town. We have, um, what's it called? We have Odell's Brewery, which is kind of cool. And then we've got another one, New Belgium, New Belgian, New Belgium. I don't know what it's called. I'll put it on the screen for you. But yeah, those are the two kind of cooler breweries in town that are like larger. We do have a bunch of other breweries in town though. Don't get me wrong. Where's this? This little college town is not short on breweries by any stretch of the imagination. So get this last guy planted. But yeah, I'll definitely be good to drive and good to like stop somewhere on my way home. So I might do that. But I also might just do that after work tomorrow. We'll see, because Payson will be just getting home. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give this guy a little moss pole if I can find one. All right. Oh, I'm officially getting hungry. Okay. Whew. So, should have put the pole in first, but I just thought of it, but no big deal. So, this guy's just... If I hold it up here, you can kind of see it's just starting to kind of branch out and up. So I am just going to kind of attach him down at the base here. Pat that down a little bit. Cute. Look at him. Cute little leaf. Okay, beautiful. So we have used all but this taller one, which I think is gonna be too tall for anything that we have left to pot up. So I think I'm just gonna call that it for this video. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. We have potted up so many plants. Let me just like, let me just put these in front of me really quick so you can see the gravity of what we have potted up today. It's a lot, you guys. It's a lot. I'm not even done. So many, there are so many plants here. So yeah, thank you guys again so much for joining me for this video and potting up all of these plants that we took out of the prop box. Again, check out, <laughs> check out, be on the lookout for a part two, potting up the rest of these and like all this other stuff that we have over in front of me that you can't even see right now. But yeah, I am officially super hungry. I'm getting really hot. I need to get some food in my body. So yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me and keep an eye out for the next video because I've got some fun ones coming out for you. At least they were fun for me to film. So yeah, be on the lookout for some fun videos coming up here soon and let me know what else you wanna see from me in the future because I am gonna be here for the long haul. So I hope y'all aren't sick of me because I'm here to stay. I am absolutely loving this channel, loving YouTube, loving this community that I'm slowly but surely building with all of you amazing people that join me every single week and join me on my other platform, which is just Instagram right now. I don't have a TikTok or anything like that, but yeah, thank you guys so much for being here and I'm gonna officially get out of here. So I will see you later. Bye. <laughs>